Okay, so the next section is, is we're going to be sheeting the wing and we start with doing the undersurface. So, what I've done is I've removed all of the masking tape that was on and I've just left one piece here and one piece here and then um, it, I had a couple of little areas where it was just tacked and all I did was a very sharp blade I just went along and got up to each rib and just gave it a little tweak and it's all now lifted up so the next process now is this is the sheet you need which is um, pre-cut to the right length it's uh, 457 mil So the idea is we're now going to just lift the wing just, just a little, little bit. I put it. the sheet in the other side so that it means that the wing is sitting square on the jig. Little tip, I got a bit of an off cut and I am just going to put that down there making sure that the clamp doesn't go over the spar and what that will do is that will make sure that we don't end up extending the sheet past the spar so I'm then going to just gently slide this in like so there you go now that's butting up against it and then we've got to make sure that you're only literally going halfway over this rib because we've got the other sheet is going to fit in so that's fitting on that corner beautifully and now what I'm going to do excuse my head but I'm just going to check I'm happy with the centers on the rib and what we're going to do is I'm just going to gently with the I've sharpened this pencil and then what we're going to do is I'm going to run down this leading edge Ooh. Okay, so I've cut that. I'm just going to feed this back in here. Make sure you got the right bit. <laughs> I did actually slip that bit in and that gave myself an heart attack. I thought to myself, Chip, what the hell have you done? Right. Look at that beauty oh that's not good news that's a power cut okay so uh, normal service has been resumed um, I have very carefully slid the sheet in and I'm just holding it in two places I've checked 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 again make sure it's all square at the back and I've got it halfway running over the rib here and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly tack this in a couple of places with some Sino and then this bit I am going to use Sino and I'm just going to glue all of these into place I'm going to go along literally everywhere that you can see and glue this bad boy down just be careful when you're adding the glue along the back spar that it doesn't leach out over the back and then go down onto your um, 
frame. So I've just tacked that all in place now. Now I'm going to methodically just go along and glue anything that needs gluing. So that's all cyanoed in. I'll tell you what I did do, <coughs> particularly with the back here. Once I'd um, actually added a little bit, I just took the little guides that I'd got and I was just make, just lifting mine occasionally just to make sure that none of the glue had leaked through. So I'm going to do exactly the same the other side, but we've just got a little trick to come up with. I'm going to let this dry and then we've got a little trick to come up with because this is going to be at a slight angle, so we need to accommodate that. Okay, I've got this side <coughs> that's just glued. I pulled up the sheet with some pegs here and then just slowly tacked it with Sino. Now, this second sheet, I put the stops at the back and we have to cut a very small angle right where it joins in the centre. So my advice is do the angle first before you do the line for the sheeting. Because if you do the angle second, so in other words you cut that and then cut the angle, it's going to make it short. So I've got this all in place. The sheet here is just touching. And just to here, it's just overlapping. Let me have a little look. It's overlapping by about three mil, and that's to accommodate uh, the sweep. So all I'm doing is I'm just going to hold my finger up underneath this sheet. I'm going to mark that as much as possible. And what I might do is I might end up having to do a couple of goes at this. Okay, so now we're going to remove that. I'm going to cut that. Then when I'm happy with this angle and it fits properly, then I'm just going to do it exactly as I did before. I'm going to run a pencil along here, cut the out, cut the shape, and then glue as I've done with this one. That literally was all I needed to cut off of that angle. Some of it's got so thin it's on the bench. Now, top tip, mark the end. So you know you've got the angle right. Oh, look at that. Fits like a glove. for that so same thing for before I've slid that in oh my god that looks seems fantastic the way that literally butts up like that and well chuffed for that so I've now got my two spa retainers at the back just a couple here in place and then I'm just going to slowly little tip here when you're adding the old uh, glue if you start from here run the glue down because it's actually going down the jig um, you'll actually find it easier than running the glue up the top so I found it's very easy just put a little bit of glue down there and I can actually run the nozzle down and I get a really good fillet so my advice is you might not be using this glue but start from the top and slowly work your way down then you don't end up with a puddle at the bottom okay so all the bottom sheet is done now the next step is to do the top sheet in a very similar style but a couple of things we need to be very careful of so the idea is this sheet is going to go onto here and it's going to taper into the same place as the bottom sheet now the only thing we have to do is we're going to have to cut out just here so what we're going to look into do is finishing this sheet so it's going to run along this sheet here and then the other thing we're going to do is obviously we've got to get that angle 
and that's going to be difficult with it underneath. So what I intend to do is I'm fix I'm going to fix the sheet down. I'm thinking about removing a substantial bit of this sheet to start off with uh, because that will actually make it easier to roll over and get an accurate shape. So I'll see how I get on and I'll come up with a plan and we'll see if it works. Okay, so I've cut mine out. Um, I had it pinned like so. It was accurately in position. I used three or four pins across here. Now, for the front, what I did was I got a steel ruler and I rolled, used that steel ruler to roll that ply, that's not easy to say, roll that ply over the top. Then I looked down it and I then marked that line and that's absolutely spot on. Now, one other quick tip. If you've got it exactly in place, just massage every rib, shouting I love angel wings designs, like so. Something magic will happen. When you turn it over, you're going to get all these black soot lines from the laser cutting. That's going to show you where you can put your contact glue. So we're now ready to put this sheet on. Stop. Stop everything you're doing from now. This is the most, one of the most important things about this video. I need to tell you, do not glue this sheet on until you've fitted either your extension leads for the servo or you've fed some cord through all of these holes to be able to feed the control wire through. Now, if you want my honest advice, I would go either control wire, if you're going to go soldering, you might want to solder your joints already, but this is a 90 degree bend and you might struggle and if that comes off the wire, that you, the rope that you're pulling through, you might struggle. So I'm just going to feed all of these through here. I might actually cut these connectors off and resolder them. But you want this wire all the way through here to the midsection before you do the top sheeting. So I've used Yoohoo glue, the Yoohoo pour solvent free all purpose contact adhesive I have put everything on the ribs and the spars then all I did was I carefully dropped my sheet back on then took it off and I've now actually got some of the glue is now on there so I'm just giving that a quick 30 seconds now remember what I said load up either your servo wire or the cord to pull the servo wire through but you need to do that now. So I'm now just adding this. Okay, one side top sheet done. Um, pin the trailing edge. Uh, I could have wrapped some tape around it, but I so I pin the trailing edge. I've wrapped tape around the leading edge, and just put an extra piece along there. Uh, and I'm going to leave that sometime. I have actually just made sure I rubbed all the ribs as well, just to make sure I don't appear to have any high spots anywhere. So, only time will tell. Now I'm going to crack on with the other side, not forgetting the servo wire. So there you go. They have um, both top sheets have now been um, glued on. I'm just going to leave those for 24 hours now, and. Uh, We'll come back and then I think we've got a lot of sheeting to do. 